Well, it's time to take a crack at our rival, and I have to admit this fight's kind of a toss-up. Um, I could maybe give myself a better chance if I used a Fury Cutter. Um, big if there, though. As we all know, Ghastly can potentially screw that plan up with either Paralysis through Lick, or put us to sleep, you know, at the wrong time once that low health and mess up our chances of getting, you know, a lot of power behind Fury Cutter when we go for it. Um, it's just easier to just try and, you know, take this thing out and then just, you know, power through with Swift. I would prefer to have access to, you know, a better option, but, you know, you, you work with the cards you're dealt, you know? And yeah, that's a range. Sometimes you can one-shot the Ghastly when you're at, uh, level 20 here, and sometimes you can't. Maybe with ideal stats, I would have been able to do it automatically. I mean, I just took whatever stats I got, you know, I didn't pick the perfect Charizard. You know, for the future battles ahead. If I had, I probably went with, like, Hidden Power Dragon or something. Or probably Hidden Power Grass, to be honest, because that'd probably be damn useful against Misty later. And any other water types we had to deal with. Uh, but for this fight, yeah, we're gonna have to Swift. Now, if it crits, uh, the fight's effectively over. Because I won't be able to out-damage pace him. I mean, if I could crit here, it'd be lovely. But I don't think I'm gonna get that lucky. <laughs> and yeah, this is gonna be a four-hit kill. So, yep, all the way to the brink here. Oh, nope, critical hit. Okay, we did luck out this time. But yeah, uh, four hit kill versus three hit kill was not ideal. I, no, wait, I was taking another hit, so it would have been both four hit kills, man. Yeah, it sucked. But, you know, I can live with it. I mean, we got a super potion we can waste afterwards. And another critical hit. Hmm. Seems a little extra lucky there, man. Yeah, I know, Amro. You really need to get some actual skills and stop relying on that overpowered suit, man. Yeah, I know Amro gets much better later on. But early on, you know, it's it's all thanks to the Gundam Hill being really good instead of Amro, you know. At least that's how it always came across to me when I watched, you know, the original series. But for now, let's just activate our super potion. Because I don't get too many opportunities to use stuff like that. And into the forest we go. Suppose I could actually leave the forest and get that free charcoal, but... Eh... There's always later to get that. Plus, it's getting late, and I kinda wanna finish up, you know, the Pokemon Gold episodes, you know, sooner rather than later. So let's just go get this guy's far-fetched. Oh yeah, I forgot to grab a Pokemon that can cut. Gosh darn it. I'm gonna have to grab a Rattata, aren't I? Not Rattata, an Oddish. That's useless, though. Ugh, come on. Please be an Oddish. Ah oh, no, it's a stupid Zubat. No, it's late at night, but come on. I don't want to see a stupid Zubat. Zubat ain't gonna help. That's right, just keep going that way. Yeah, they made this way more challenging in the next game. Come on. Just, just make it back to him already. And please. Ah, still no luck. Like, I'm actually asking for a random encounter right now. That's... that's a rarity. Normally I would want to avoid those, but, uh... I really could use a cutter right now. That isn't Charmander. For obvious reasons. Okay, there we go. Level 5. Well, let's see... Use the lure ball. It makes absolutely no sense. That's why we're using it. <laughs> Aww. 
I suppose I could try Rage, but I'm guessing I'd still knock it out. So, I guess we'll first just use some Pokeballs. Come on now, get in that ball. Stay there. Ah, damn it. <sighs> I know I'm gonna wish I'd caught Bellsprout when I had the chance. Well, try another one. Darn hiccups. Okay, we got it. I mean, Osh isn't that hard to catch usually, so it's fine. It's just the principle of the thing, you know? No, it doesn't need a nickname. It's just a faceless Pokemon, you know? That I'll be obviously forgotten about. Okay, cut. Yep. And boom. Ash now knows cut, and we can get out of here. Problem is, I want to grab a uh, headbutt. Hmm. I mean, I'm assuming we can learn it. And it would be a good replacement for Swift if we want more power. And it does have that secondary flinch option. And I don't probably have the power on return yet to be super good with it. Hmm. And that's ignoring the fact I probably have the day of the week set correctly to even try and get return. I mean, I'd have to double check my, uh, date, you know, and see what we're at, but I'm guessing it's the wrong day to find her. Oh, never mind, it's Sunday. It's actually in sync with the actual day of the week right now. Sometimes I set those up on rather, uh, odd, uh, dates, you know, for what, what we're working on, actually. So I'm a bit surprised it's actually correct. Because I expected it was going to be really, really far off. But I'd have to try and remember it. Ugh. And he'd probably make more sense to put him on the same day, but, you know, I don't always think about it. Yeah, thank you. I'll, I'll definitely take this and think about using it later. I just want to get the golden rod, you know? Like, I probably won't even do the stuff in the city. I just want to get to the city. <laughs> Ugh, I feel like Sonic right now. Just, just want to get to the city. And everything else, get out of my way. Ugh, my eyes are definitely starting to feel heavy again. Despite all the knockoff Mountain Dew I've been knocking back. Like, come on, knockoff Mountain Dew. Keep me awake. I prefer not to turn to other alternatives like putting ice in my pants or something. It would probably help, but it also probably results in a very wet pair of pants and a very wet chair. And be more effort to clean up than it's worth. Can we just please get past the Oddishes? Like, I already caught one! I don't need any more! <sighs> Okay, block you. This is an easy fight, so we'll go for it. Yes, a, a practice battle where you're absolutely doomed! Come on! Seriously, why a hop it? Like, it doesn't even have any attacks. Like, it takes forever to get hop it leveled up. So I can do anything. Oh man. Like I use splash. Like why? I I guess they want Hobbit to basically be the flying plant equivalent of Magic Carp. Which is why it gets such useless moves for the longest time. And uh, please pull me sure, yep. Okay. Time for some cooked Bulbasaur. I've been told the bulb's the best part. And it's down. Man, I felt like that entire team was comprised of Deadeye Duncans. 
I don't know why the world needed three Jedi Duncans on a team together, but it just did. Now, let's see. Well, we can sneak around. You know what, Oddish? Help me out. Thank you. <laughs> not the most efficient use of time, but why not? Well, that'll do it for this episode. Next time, you know, we'll go around gathering items and maybe do some grinding. Depends on how long it takes me to grab all the stuff I want, you know? Until then, see ya.